Hey everybody, this is Death Out at the Death Shop. And you know what? It's WrestleMania Sunday. I'm gonna watch some WrestleMania here. Uh, I decided we're gonna do a little reaction cam tonight. So, I don't have a webcam, so don't even think that. I'm just filming off my GoPro. Anyway, we're doing the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, which is part of the uh, pre-show. So, I'm gonna watch. You guys can listen and watch my reaction. I'm hoping Baron Corbin wins. <laughs> Waiting on. Well, once in a lifetime, some special the comes on. Here we are. You will Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Of course, Royal. you know we got the King. Elimination to turn. Yeah. The superstar Jim is Ross. over the top rope Ooh, with I, both feet hitting the know, floor, and the last man in the ring will be declared the winner. <laughs> don't know him anymore. You know, know about him anymore because yeah, you know, too much excitement might be too much for Let's him. Get this thing and, uh, started, guys. What do you say? Who's the guy? The Coachman. I think. Match the entire night here in New Orleans. Well, the key to this match, guys, it's an opportunity. Know that. It's an opportunity to, to skyrocket your yeah. career, to, to redefine Titus, your career. Titus, I think. Uh oh. Remember, you're going to be thrown over the top. Both of you have got to touch. Ah, uh, looks like Slater's going to be first. To the showers. Golly. <laughs> uh, oh, no, Slater's going to slide oh, back Anderson in. There are, there are There's like three guys on the ropes. Oh, here's Corbin right here trying to throw it. Ty Dillinger, the perfect 10. Gives him some power. There's been nothing but a perfect three in my book. Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Oh, Aiden English. Oh, Aiden English is gone, but that's okay. He's got a good match going on here. Oh, Aiden English is gone, but that's okay. He's got to give Rusev his Rusev Day speech here. <laughs> so they said he's going to be celebrating Rusev Day today. Anybody's ball game. You can't pick, you can't pick a winner in a battle royal unless Andre was in it. Oh, I can pick a winner. Yeah, unless Andre was in it. Actually, the big guys are at a disadvantage on a battle royal. Dillinger there on Dolph Ziggler going to Because the taller you are, the easier you are to throw in the top row. Just a uh, great colleague got eliminated in the world. Who it is? Oh, Dolph Ziggler barely hanging on. Uh, Dolph Ziggler, Ziggler Mr. Daniel. Ziggles. <laughs> Delicately on the ropes, his feet never touch the floor. He's so, by the way, there's a there's slim chance of Heather Knight coming out on filming, so. Yeah, maybe. That Hardy in danger. It's Connor from the Ascension. WrestleMania it's pizza for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, who was that? So is Kurt Hawkins. Kurt that Hawkins, was, uh, I think. I thought that Kurt Hawkins was going to get there. No <laughs> in a lifetime for Lamb. <laughs> A guy like Titus O'Neil. What would this do for, for the brand of Titus Worldwide if you yeah. want this onto the giant Titus, you know, well, his problem is, is he can't stop touching people. He touched Vince McMahon and lost his push that he had. You know, he got relegated to a jobber. And he finally got, got back up again. And what did he do? He went and tapped, uh, who was Kurt Angle? Oh, wow. Gold Dust eliminated Dark Truth. Is that our truth? I like Garth Truth. He's one of the oldest guys in the roster. Now a, a dabber. Gold Dust, 30 year veteran. Imagine what this would do. This could create a, a career resurgence. Oh, whoa, whoa. Remo. Oh, come whoa. on. Nice so, truthfully, they're talking about Gold Dust. I've always liked Gold Dust. He's pretty cool. His music. Things are starting to sort out here a little bit. Does a good some, job training guys. Some too. packets of uh, companionship, i.e., the revival, trying to stick together or near each other. You heard the revival say uh, a couple weeks ago they were going to be the first tag team Man, is that like to collectively Mysterio? win the Andre the Giant Memorial Oh my god, I thought he was dead. Yeah. I thought he drank too much tequila in Mexico oh. and died. Well, it is if they get both to the end. Oh, theoretically it's possible, but I don't think it's going to happen. I like the team. I don't like their chances in this match. So Mike Kanellis get eliminated. Mike Kanellis, oh my god. He's going to his baby girl. Mike <laughs> Kanellis. So, I thought that they left and went back to Dolph TNA. Him and Maria. One of the most, uh, he came back again. Successful superstars here at WWE. Uh, it's weird what the uh, WWE has been doing. Like, you know, we had Austin Aries for a bit, and now all of a sudden he's like the Rhino, champ in TNA and just won the, uh, um, the last thing advantage. he had won, good. which was no the, uh, the uh, King of the Mountain title. That's why I'm honored to work with you. Man Hardy, they're just... Trying to hang on, he's uh, not, not really too, too spiffy right now. Hardy's gone through. Oh, wow. Yeah. Somebody's got Corbin half over. A little different than what you Say, guys come remember. on, Barry. Yeah, no doubt. He's woken now. I don't he's even know who that is. Oh, is that Matt Hardy? No. Barrett Corbin there. Barrett Corbin, a former yes. author of the Giant Memorial. I don't even know who that was. 
We got a couple of former winners in this That's right, we got Matt Hardy. Broken Matt Hardy. Won the Battle Royal last year. Yeah. Mojo's starting to make some names. By the way, if you subscribe during one of my streams, uh, streams right now, you get uh, Matt Hardy coming up saying, Brother Nero, I knew you come. Oh, there goes, uh, who was that? I don't know. Some dude with the, uh, some dude with lots of stuff. The I think if they're going to give Ziggler a push, though, they'll have him win, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, he's always in trouble. I'm always with the, what he says. You know, I've pushed him aside for a long time. He had his chance, and he got injured like Finn Balor, you know? Finn Balor. They're staying near the ropes. There's a little sanctuary there, kid. But uh, that's... It's Seth Rhino Rollins you're talking and the, about there. Uh, the Buffalo Ascension. Bomb, you know. There's a reason Rhino why, Rhino you know, they just order. recently started Already letting him use it and had it, like, uh, oh. well, out for so long. One of the guys from the from this match Ascension look at Dolph. just got yeah, eliminated. He's he's Dolph Ziggler is out spot. and hanging on for, like, the fourth Living time the in the match already. Dolph Ziggler. Is he due to win one at WrestleMania, for goodness sakes? Okay, so anyway, yeah, the buckle bomb is the reason why I was banned, because, yeah, he hurt, uh, let's see, John Cena, he pretty much ended the career of Sting with it. Of course, the first Universal Champion suffered one on the uh, edge of the, uh, strategy to uh, try to win around this thing the, uh, the, the man with what do you call it, the barricade, his face and, other and he had to relinquish the title which he won with a separated shoulder. He still beat Seth Rollins, and uh, he had to relinquish it after one day, so that kind of sucks. And yeah, he really lost his push, because I think the demons needed it for, they have it for a long time. In fact, I don't know if he's going to come out as the demon or not tonight, because, you know, uh, there hasn't what, been any mention of the demon for a long back time. Back it's all Dollar Club, you know. Saying Bullet Club all over again. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sorry, Kenny Omega, you suck. He's, he's, he doesn't have a lot of partners in this thing, I can tell you that. He should be every man for himself. Matt actually said he's pulled See, into the some of his, uh, pure, I saw the one with Chris you know, Jericho. Giant and, and, yeah, Chris Jericho did an excellent job. You know, crazy match. doesn't run in his family. Should have won that match, match but this, this because they built him up as the heel, yeah. you know, of course, oh, in Japan, the Tokyo Dome. He has oh. these. Again, is it going to be in trouble? Uh oh, by his own hand. It comes back. No. Ooh, 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 you know it. Over you go. Oh, man. Mojo Raleigh just ace. <laughs> ace Zack Ryder. He's getting ready to do the brusky boot on. I think that was. I think that was Mr. Ziggles. And yeah, man, he just pounded him out of nowhere. Oh, Anderson. Oh. Right well, Anderson and Gallows don't oh, have a wow. wow. Oh, Anderson's oh, out. Anderson and, and Gallows yeah, are in here. Oh, Gable. wow, and so oh, is uh, so is uh, Gallows is a oh, well, you know that Dang, I forgot what his name was. Big boy slugging it back and forth. Uh, uh, Chad Gamble Gallows. and uh, and the Shelton. Benjamin, he got. And Titus O'Neil just took out. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. All right, here's the deal. Pause time. A WWE, why in the world, even during your pre show, do you have to have a. Uh... Do you have to have a commercial? I'm going to, uh, yeah, here we go. Back to the action here. Say, especially since it's for the pay-per-view you're having right now. It's like, come on, dudes. It started with about 30 WWE superstars competing for a chance to take home the Say their own commercials for the Royal Battle Royal Trophy. It's like we've seen all the vignettes. Come on. Absolutely, a lot of stars. Anybody who's a wrestling fan has seen all the vignettes. They don't need them. And they're always going to show a build up before, oh, so watching the rest of the pre show besides the matches is not really worth anything. Wow, Sheldon Benjamin's trying to like power bomb? Or was he just hanging on? Okay. Damn. Oh my god, JR looks horrible. Whoa, they just like did a close up and JR had his glasses off and he looks horrible. Oh wow, there's a bunch of guys spinning out now. 
Is that game Coming plan? That game plan just went out the window for the revival. Oh, here comes Kane. And in the meantime, Kane's got two guys. And over they go. Oh, it's the Miz Taraj. Huh? Wow, Miz Taraj is in there. A lot in here. I guess they needed the extra guys. Kane right has now. done very well in these multi person matches throughout his illustrious career. Whoa, who is it? They got John Cena sitting in the stands. You know, I, I don't want to undertake this show up. I'm pretty sure he will because Kid Rock, you know, playing American Badass and all, you know. But we'll just have to get knocked out. Okay, Matt Hardy's still in it. So we've got, like, uh, Heath Slater on the ropes, Baron Corbin, Mr. Ziggles, Matt Hardy, Kane, Goldust. Oh, there goes Heath Slater. Uh, is that Rey Mysterio? Sin Cara. Oh, no wonder why. He got thrown over. Wow, we didn't even see that. They had a show it on a replay. Baron Corbin chucked Sin Cara onto, like, four guys that are already getting eliminated. Anybody want to go out on a limb? That's pretty awesome. I think the winner of this battle royal is going to come down these two. Yeah, we got Kane facing off against Corbin. Come on, Lone Wolf. I love Baron Corbin. He's awesome. Oh, and everybody's beating him up now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who is that other guy that's in there? Is that Titus or is that uh, Shelton? I think it's Titus. Okay, it's Titus. We got Titus, Ty Dillinger, Gold Dust, uh, Baron Corbin, Matt Hardy, the two gentlemen Mr. Ziggles been, oh, just, and Kane so and who's the other guy in the corner there? Is that Mojo? Mojo's still in it, huh? They were trying to give him a push too, but I don't know, man. Mojo Rawley won the, won the battle royal last year, didn't he? And then, of course, he didn't do anything near what Corbin did, man. Corbin. Oh! Super kick by uh, Ziggles, and there goes Titus. Oh, and, and he almost eliminated himself. Oh, my God. He barely hold on. See, I hate these guys that slip in and royal. slip back in underneath the bottom row. Kind of sucks. Gold Dust giving out power slams left and right here. Ty Dillinger in the corner. Nah, he's not going anywhere. I can tell. Uh-oh. Ty Dillinger may no longer be in service if this happens. The mall is closed. Yeah. Come on, Goldie. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Perceived he might be the veteran member Ooh, of the skippy, contest. skippy, skip on the uh, voice there. We see the appeal. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is like you and I. He's, he's, uh, oh man, he's gonna he's gonna nut them both. He's got Ty Dillinger and Mr. Ziggles up on the. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that was a knee to the nuts and Ziggles. Oh, thankfully got him over with Ty, man. Oh, man. Delete, 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 delete. Mr. Ziggles is looking, and we got Matt Hardy. Oh! Popped him in the mush. Oh, my God. He popped him right in the mush. Who are you? Who are you? Ah, Woken Matt Hardy just turned around and says to Ty Dillinger, Who are you? And, and he goes in there and flashes 10 in front of him. And then Matt goes, delete, delete, delete. 10, 10, 10, delete, delete, delete. And Matt Hardy just got him. Ooh, he just got popped by Kane. I told you, here comes Kane. Starting to say, guess who had all the momentum. Say Corbin's being smart and he's staying down in the corner. The big red machine comes good if you wait. Oh, no, no, chapstick here, guys. Oh, Ziggles with a super kick. Oh, what? No. Okay. I was going to say, no, Kane can't go that way. Oh, there goes Ziggles. Kane threw him off and over. Oh, and Corbin just threw Kane over. Right on, Baron. <laughs> wow, Corbin's the last big guy left, I think. Do not... Oh, wait, no, no, Mojo's in there. We got Mojo, we got Matt, and we got Baron Corbin. So, I'm going to say preliminary here, Matt, uh, Woken Matt Hardy's going to win. And that's because uh, that's because if you've got uh, you've got the two winners from the floor. Oh, except you just got flapjacked by Mojo. 
Mojo Rawley don't know how good he can be. Has no clue. He could be one are of they the going to team up and beat, or are they going to beat on each other? Athletic. Can't coach that. And Corbin is there I don't too. know. Corbin and Mojo look this like is, they can, they could be a good Ryan match on this. Oh, there it's stomping oh, down in the mud hole. And Matt, and as, as uh, JR would say. But for how long? After Hardy's gone, then what? Uh oh, well, they're going to throw Matt out. out. What? Oh my gosh! What was that? Okay, before he got thrown out, we got Bray. Oh my god! And Bray Wyatt's back. Bray Wyatt has descended or ascended into this very ring in WrestleMania. How did he get there? We haven't seen Wyatt since the ultimate deletion. Sister Abigail on Mojo. Oh, no, no, he the threw him to Matt and Matt threw him over. And Baron Corbin just mushed Matt. Here comes Bray. On Corbin, deep six Corbin. Or not deep six, but into days. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I want to see deep six. You saw the last paper, the last SmackDown pay-per-view. He did the most awesome, awesome deep six on AJ Styles. Oh, Corbin got pushed over by Matt. Now we got Matt and we got Bray Wyatt in the ring. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Matt Hardy wins because Bray wasn't in there to begin with. Matt Hardy wins the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. All right, great job, Matt. All right, we'll be back with another match a little bit later. Get that at the death shop. WrestleMania. And this is like the uh, <laughs> Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal on the pre-show. Reaction. Yeah.